27 Monuments Sweet 16 is Berryessa Snow Mountain. Established in 2015 and covering just over 330,000 acres, it starts just above sea level and extends all the way up to 7,000 feet, and it's arguably the best place in the world to see plate tectonics. Several of the mountains here, including Snow and Goat Mountains, were once underwater sea mounts back in the Jurassic period. As the North American and Pacific plates shifted, they were sucked down into the Earth's crust before finally being ejected up to the surface, forming the mountains you see today over the course of a million years. It's the kind of journey that makes Lord of the Rings look like a walk to 7-Eleven to get toilet paper. Do you see the greenish rock here? That's called serpentine, the California state rock, and it's extremely rare. It was once the crust under the Pacific Ocean, and its unique mineral composition makes it home to some of the rarest plants on Earth. It's home to bald eagles, falcons, and elk. Hunting and hiking are both popular here, and it's the source of precious drinking water supplies. If you think it should be preserved, go to 27monuments.org and use these hashtags to help spread the word. 27 Monuments number 17 has got the largest trees that the world has ever seen. Welcome to Giant Sequoia National Monument. Established in 2000 and just under 330,000 acres, it's home to the Giant Sequoia, the world's largest tree. Many of these giant sequoias are more than 20 feet wide and more than 1,000 years old. There are some redwoods that are taller, but by volume, giant sequoias are the largest. See, it's the girth that actually matters. <coughs> this is the bull tree. It's the largest tree in U.S. Forest Service land and the sixth largest tree in the entire world. Ironically, it was named after Franklin Boole, who supervised the logging operation here around the turn of the 20th century. And speaking of, this is what happens when we leave our natural treasures unprotected. Converse Basin, where I'm currently standing, used to be a grove of thousands of giant sequoias. Now only 60 to 100 truly large ones survive. This tree here was 3,200 years old when it was cut down. If you want to prevent the rest of the trees here from meeting that fate, go to 27monuments.org to learn what you can do and use these hashtags to help spread the word. 27 Monuments number 18 is Carrizo Plain. It's just outside San Luis Obispo. It was established in 2001 and it covers just over 200,000 acres of some very interesting terrain. Dad? This is Soda Lake. It is the largest alkali natural wetland in Southern California. A little salty with just a hint of arsenic. Wallace Creek, which you see here, runs perpendicular to the infamous San Andreas Fault. The shifting of that fault over the centuries has offset the creek by a whopping 425 feet. This plain is home to 13 species listed as endangered. It is the largest single concentration of endangered species in California. This includes the San Joaquin kit fox, the San Joaquin antelope squirrel, the giant kangaroo rat, as well as the California condor. This is the largest single native grassland in California and it is most famous for its super blooms. When the rains finally come after periods of drought, this area explodes with colorful wildflowers like you wouldn't believe. If you want to protect this and 26 other monuments, go to 27monuments.org, use these hashtags, and help spread the word. 27 Monuments 19. They grow up so fast. My submarine is now pulling into Pacific Remote Islands National Monument. It covers almost half a million square miles of Pacific Ocean. There's an insane number of fish, coral, mammals, plants, and birds that aren't found anywhere else in the world, including... Hey, yeah, I'm a merman, or what have you. I've been asked to read this. Welcome to my underwater utopia. Let me show you around. Because these islands are so far from population centers and so close to the equator, it provides a unique opportunity to study climate change. I have some awesome neighbors like my homie the sea pig. He's super chill. Our pristine coral reefs are like recordings of the Earth's climatological history. But if they're destroyed because of the seabed mining, cable laying, oil and gas exploration, or commercial fishing, these habitats and this history could be lost forever, and we only have until July 10th to do anything about it. Is that true? Yep, go to 27monuments.org to learn what you can do and use these hashtags to help spread the word. Thanks a lot. 27 Monuments stop number 20. This is the San Gabriel Mountains. Established in 2014 and just under 350,000 acres, it covers part of the Angeles National Forest and the San Bernardino National Forest. It contains three distinct wilderness areas and it's just outside of Los Angeles. When you live in a big city like that, outdoor spaces like this are very necessary to escape the grind and reconnect with nature. More than five million people visit each year. It provides more than a third of LA's drinking water and its trees help to clean the area's notorious air pollution. It has incredible trails for hiking, mountain biking, and horseback. It's culturally important to Native Americans, and there's a historically significant observatory where they first measured the speed of light. There's some really good skiing and snowboarding in winter. You can pan for gold, and you can splash around in waterfalls if you know where to find them.
Unfortunately, due to the heavy traffic, litter and other degradation is already way more common than it should be. If it loses its monument designation, future generations may be robbed of this amazing experience. If you believe it should be protected, go to 27monuments.org to learn what you can do and use these hashtags to help spread the word.